Welcome everyone. I'm Deronda with Foods 101 and today I'm going to show you how to make this classic meatloaf. It's a favorite for anyone that I know that loves meatloaf. To get this started you're going to need two pounds of ground chuck. This is just something you can buy in your meat department at the grocery store. Um, I prefer ground chuck because it has your less fat. You're going to need one cup of ketchup two tablespoons of brown sugar, one shallot that I have minced finely, two teaspoons of kosher salt, one half cup of minced red onions that I've also chopped very finely. This is Worcestershire sauce. This is two tablespoons. I have one half cup of oatmeal, one egg. This is one teaspoon of thyme and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. All right, now to our meat. We're going to make this very simple. You're going to add the oatmeal, the Worcestershire sauce, sometimes that's hard to say, the onions, ooh, yum, the salt, shallots, one egg, the thyme, and pepper. Now to this we're going to add half the ketchup. The other half we're going to add to the top of our meatloaf once we get it in the shape we desire before baking. So I'm just going to use about half of that. And now you're going to combine these ingredients well in with your meat. Okay, now if you'd like you can get in there with a um, your hands, but now I just prefer using a wooden spoon and trying to get this all mixed in. You want to spend about three or four minutes on this and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. I've got the chuck beef combined with the other ingredients in here in a 13 by 9 inch porcelain pan. Now it doesn't need to be porcelain, but I like the size of the 13 by 9. I've lined it with parchment paper. Here's our meat where we've got all the other ingredients well incorporated. and. I'm just going to put it right here in our baking dish and I'm using my hands and I'm making the shape of our traditional meatloaf. Now see parchment paper, it makes it so much easier to clean up after you bake this scrumptious piece of entree here. You know, here in America, we love meatloaf with mashed potatoes, green bean, corn, and then we love the leftover meatloaf to slice and put on uh, pieces of bread and have meatloaf sandwiches. Meatloaf's always delicious leftover. Now, I like the shape of this meatloaf. Now, we're going to take that leftover ketchup. We're going to add our two tablespoons of brown sugar and you're just going to combine these two ingredients very well. And also you want to make sure you've got your oven preheating to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Now once we have those ingredients together, just going to add right here onto the top and spread it all around. Now this is ready to go in the oven for the next 55 minutes to one hour. And we're going to put this on the top rack and on the bottom rack I've got a baking dish here that is going to bake along with our meatloaf. That way it'll keep the meatloaf nice and moist and it'll keep the top from cracking. So I'll show you how I do it once I put it in the oven. Now you can see how I've got the meatloaf on the top rack and I've got a pan of water here on the bottom. Now it's time to close the oven door and bake this for the next 55 minutes to one hour. Here's our delicious baked meatloaf. Just got it out of the oven. Oh my goodness. I'll let it sit for about 15 minutes, cut into it, and tell you what it tastes like. Time to give this a try. Oh yeah, look how moist it is. And it's got that ketchup and that brown sugar there on top. Mmm, just like a classic mm, meatloaf. Mm, with the onions in there and the the thyme is coming through with that 
sugar and the ketchup on the tomato base. This is absolutely delicious. Hey y'all, hope you give this a try. I'm Dorana with Foods 101 and I'll catch you next time.